I'm Jenny Bowker and this is my quilt. It's called After the Last Sky and it commemorates an event in fairly recent Egyptian history where the army and military opened fire on a group of about 5,000 demonstrators in two squares in central Cairo. And the men, or the, and the people, the demonstrators, women and children and men, had been occupying the square for two months and the military were sick of it. They just wanted to move them on. And on that day, my friend Mossab al Shami, a young Egyptian photojournalist, and his best friend Shaw Khan were going into the square to do, do a few interviews. They thought they'd get some photographs and some stories and just try selling something to Reuters or Associated Press. And unknown to them, behind them, the tanks were closing all the roads and all the access into the square. And while they were interviewing in different parts of the square, the shooting broke out and they just, they just strafed the demonstrators with machine gun fire. And up to between 600 and 1500 died, but they don't have accurate numbers. This man has just watched his friends die and he's turned to run because the kerosene heaters they'd been using for cooking covered the ground with kerosene and the machine gun fire just lit the ground. And all around them, machine, their mobile phones that had been dropped were ringing different ringtones as parents frantically tried to find their children. We were lying in bed in Canberra when all this was happening. We'd been texted to say it had started, the shooting had started, and we pulled up the Twitter feed and one of the tweets that, Twitters that came up about, or tweets, sorry, came up about three quarters of an hour into the shooting period said, please write your phone numbers on your arms because we can't identify bodies. And I was really amazed when I was making this. I'd drawn the hand and I'd somehow managed to draw six fingers and I knew that wasn't right. So I started editing the hand and pulled up the photos again and realized his phone numbers written on his arm. And you can see the details of his phone number. I've, I've written it in. I actually changed the last five digits because I didn't want his parents recognised from the number. This man survived the day. He's hiding in Sudan. He can't go back to Cairo ever again. He can't go back to Egypt again. My photographer friend, Masa Bel Shami, I bought the rights to make this image because I thought it was iconic. I thought the anguish in this man's face really summed up what had just happened to him and his friends. And Shaw Khan, who is, who is the best friend of Masa Bel Shami, who was the other photojournalist, is still in jail. He was caught as a journalist and jailed. Masab was lucky to get away and his, Masab is now living in Morocco. And I'm actually having dinner with him on the 25th of November in Morocco, so I'm looking forward to catching up. But that's the story.